Ahoy fellas, Joey's gonna win at your service, bringing another episode of this desktop dungeons playthrough. <sighs> How are you guys doing? How are you guys doing? Because it's been a little bit since, it's been about a week since my last video went up. And, you know, I don't feel too, too bad about it. Like I said, this is something I do in my, in my spare time. A little hobby, more than anything. Warmonger. Really? That is wild. That might be interesting. Um, I'll do this gnome one, though. Been a while. Um... Actually, I'll save, I'll save... Probably the easiest one for last. But, you know, that's okay. Like I've said, I, I, I get pretty... I've been pretty busy with work and just pretty exhausted all around with work and then going to work out immediately after. But, there should be a video up every day this week. I can record them all today, actually. A bit on the boss. I want a little more, a little more cashola. Wait, what is very good? Oh, I forgot the transmuting scroll. That's fine. Let's go ahead and swap places with this guy here. One, two, swap places. Nice. Oh, that's right, we're in the Hex Ruins, which means everything is awful. Yeah. I just got back from a uh, dentist appointment, actually. Um, I live in the uh, middle of nowhere. There aren't that many dentists. And that's bad. Because the dentists that are here aren't taking new patients. The only reason I got in is because my mom's a patient of them. They were phenomenal. You know, they got me in, did an x-ray, because I haven't been to the dentist in, unfortunately, a few years. Ever since I started college. Um, just because it's hard to find time. But they got me in, checked up. I had one cavity, which all things considered is pretty good. And they just said, yeah, we can fill that right now if you'd like it. I said, okay. Do you want it with the Novocaine, the uh, numbing shot or not? And I said, oh God, please not the shot. I hate needles. You know, kind of them to even offer it. They were, they were quite, quite good about that. Um, they filled it with no problem. I'm gonna go ahead and convert this one right off the bat. And yeah, I'm still kind of in shock of how well it all went. Swap places. Nice. Ooh. Money. He's fine there. He's not hurting no one. I'll come back for him, though. <laughs> yeah. Um, aside from that, I finished up work for the week. And I'll be moving back into my apartment probably this Saturday. Let me tell you, though. This, uh, this past Saturday, I went down to my apartment, you know, check up, uh, make sure everything's okay. Oops. Make sure everything's okay, and, you know, see, get a, get an inventory, see what all I need. Oh, it's Jehora who's doing that. Just see everything that I need, take inventory, all that good stuff. And... Mm. 
my roommate, well, my, my new roommate, didn't pay the electric. Not necessarily his fault. Well, it was entirely his fault because his he overcharged his credit card so it didn't pay for the electric. Alright, fair enough. And I didn't realize that that was a problem until I checked the fridge, which my previous roommates left full of food. So for, presumably, at least 10 days, on the third floor of an apartment building, I'm gonna go ahead and buy that now. On the third floor of an apartment building, I'm gonna convert this blood to power as well. In August, Food was just sitting. Where did... Oh, that's right, I used it to boost the mana. I should have waited to get petitioned. That's fine, that's fine. That'll be not much of a problem. Hopefully. Mana burn now, too? Okay. So, me and my dad had to uh, clean all of that up. And it, it was... You know, we made a day of it. Why did he just remove all of my health? Jahor is being difficult. He's hearing my story and he... Even he's repulsed. He wants me to stop, but I must tell it. What else am I going to freaking talk about? Yeah, that was... And, of course, a pile of trash left by... My previous roommates. In the middle of the floor. That I had to also clean up. So that, that was great. That was... Fantastic. So, you know... I almost strapped myself there, that could have been bad. Fortunately, I didn't. And I'm actually going to... kind of just refill my health before I take these guys down, because I will get poisoned. Both of these are pretty good, and I think I can afford both of them. I have the space. I am going to slug a health potion. Can I kill this guy? I don't think I can. I can kill the level 5s. I need to swap places first, because otherwise that'll heal them. So yeah, that, that's that been... Annoying, but it's been dealt with, so... 
That's good. Um... Aside from that, let's see, I went to the dentist, I... Went down to Philly, I think that's everything, yeah. Hmm. So yeah. And nothing eventful really happened throughout the week since I spoke to you guys last... Aside from that, we need to kill everything before he fights Theno. I also might grab a health boost. Because we're not finding that many offensive glyphs. Like, we had Blood to Power, but that does nothing for us. We had Lemme See, but that did nothing for us. So yeah, I think this is worth it. And of course, we can always Desecrate Bin Lore. I don't know where this physical resistance came from. Oh, from the Tower Shield. So he'll erode that, but that's okay. He can't take this guy out. Yet. We've been having some uh, pretty good streams, though. That's something that I am... I've been quite happy with. Streaming has gone pretty well. Uh, and if you've, you know, joined into the streams, I thank you, and I hope you had a good time. And if you haven't, then I encourage you, stop by. Maybe it's your cup of tea, maybe it's not, but you won't know until you try. So... Ultimately... There's not much to lose. I could also desecrate the Earth Mother. And that's even more piety, which is good. Midas Gloves isn't bad. Pendant of Mana is kind of bad, because again, I still don't have... ...any... ...spells. That's the only problem I'm seeing so far. We're close to a level up, so I'll go ahead and... Maybe I can kill something else here. Pretty much everything's going to give me a level up. Okay, yeah. I'll clear these guys out. Now I can go ahead. Oh, Goo Blob is just a little too tanky. This one is not. Neither is this Naga. Remind me, um, weakened corrosion petitions. Bloodlust, bloodlust, yes. I just wanted to double check to make sure I remembered Berserker correctly. We will not be going to. Oh, that's actually a really good question, though. And I'll explain it as we uh, continue. So, obviously, with Berserker getting a bonus against higher level foes, we want to fight enemies that are a higher level than us, like here. Right? But, with Jehora, oh, excuse me, with Jehora here, what we have with the Chaos Avatar is it just grants an immediate level up. And this is good, 
right? Because you can fight to your last bit and then cure everything with one level up and basically start the fight over with all the all the boosts more conversion points from reduce enemy resistances all that good stuff um which you know is a good thing yes but that brings up a question when do we use that right I can level up off of this guy if I get just a bit more mana. And this wall is not bad, but not really helpful to us right now. But anyway, that brings up the question, do I fight these guys at level 8, then use... Chaos Avatar to go to level 9 to finish them off and keep the Bloodlust? Or do I start fighting them at level 9 then go to Chaos Avatar and go to level 10 for the kill without the Bloodlust? It's, it's an interesting position to be in, because it's like... Yes, there are benefits to being a higher level, obviously. There's also benefits to... Not being a higher level. For Berserker, specifically. Help me would be a great rune right now, actually. I don't think I can afford to do the to get another health boost, because I I'll probably need this to kill some more enemies. Cause I need a level up. Kind of the annoying thing about this this dungeon is the fact that hey poison <laughs> there's a lot oh this would have come in handy there are a lot of shops in this dungeon though maybe that's just me as well need to take this health potion soon, I think. Yeah, I, I just need to take this now, because I'm not close enough to a level up. I can kill her. And I'm still not poisoned, so I'll be able to take out this meat man as well. One, two... Yeah, I could actually take him out as soon as I have enough mana. Ooh. Okay, I'm trapped. So then... I'll need two mana potions. And I can kill the stronger one. Right? Yeah. And of course I could have just, you know... Swapped places with him and gotten out, but... You know, where's the fun in that? And also I might as well just take him out. What's this guy here? Okay. I'll kill this Naga. 
and the revenant that spawns from it. So now I am level 8. I think we're going to fight at level 9 just because also for Steno, we want as many enemies killed as possible. That's just better for us. Because otherwise she gets a buff for enemies that are left. This guy has poison and there's no way for me to avoid it. Could probably start going after this meat man. Hey, here's a burn there, as I'll probably drop this Endis wall just because I'm not really using that. And I'll grab a boost mana. Since I'm probably going to get a lot more piety. And of course I am a gnome, so more mana boosts are always great. Since I have... I'll have the potions to capitalize off of them. For this guy... a little more health. Yeah. Actually, let me put him over here. him over here. We're basically gonna go until we're just before level up. Stay over here still. Nice. So now we can kill, like, this guy. And we'll be fine. I'm poisoned, okay. I forgot about that because I just killed that snake. I think I still want a little more mana though. For another tele another teleport just so that in case one of these guys is able to uh really bring me down. Like that. Now I'll go and kill this guy, get the level up. And I think it's pretty much time to start fighting. We would have a rather easy time against Th Steno. Yeah. Even with 
the buffs that she would get from all these guys, I think we'd be fine. So let's go ahead. Yep. See, so that's a lot of resistance that she got. Fortunately, though, we have a little bit of fire. A little bit of fire. A mana potion. And now we swap places and kill. See? Pretty nice. Some money. He gave us a little bit more. Hey! Magic resist and maximum mana. That's pretty good. Not sure what we can drop for them, though. But, the important thing is we got just enough piety that we can go ahead and grab Chaos Avatar. Full heal, all the good stuff. I think also we can nah nah we'll, we'll hold off on desecrating bin lore we will grab a healing potion um, pendant of health isn't bad Neither is just desecrating the earth, mother. We'll take a little more damage, but I think it wouldn't be too, too bad. We'll start with Bin Lore. He took away our resistance, which means we can get rid of this shield. And we can grab... We have a health potion. Let's go ahead and grab a pendant of health. And I think we also get rid of... Wait, what? Well, that didn't do much for me. Um, we can grab the gloves of Midas and then immediately convert them. I'll also grab this pendant of mana. Yeah, so we'll go one, two, three. We'll drink that mana potion. Blast him. Drink the health potion. Punch him again. We'll go up here, desecrate the earth mother. Yeah, that's fine. Now, this is kind of a gamble, but it's all we really have at this point. And I'm going to use Last Chance, and it worked. There you go. I was banking entirely off of that Last Chance towards the end. But it worked out pretty nicely. So, we're almost done here at the Hex Ruins with the Gnomes, and I think I'll finish this up in the next video. So with that being said, I hope you, have a, I hope you had a good time, I hope to see you here again, and I hope you have a good night.